In this lesson, let's take a look at getting started with Office 365 tasks. Task in Office 365 is a place to keep track of things you want to do, but don't necessarily want to put them on your calendar. So if I have to update a project plan, I can create a task and have that on my task list. I can also flag a message in mail as something I need to do, and that will also go to my task list. So to get to my task list, I'm going to log into my account. I'm going to click here on my email, and then I'm going to type in my password, and then I'll click Sign In. I'm going to say No for now. And then it's going to take me to Office 365. So here, when I'm in Office 365, I can see the different apps that I have available. Right here, Tasks. So I can choose it here for my app list here, or if I prefer, I can go up here to my Apps Launcher, and then there's Tasks as well. I'm going to click on Task to take me to my task list. Once it takes me to my task list, I can see a couple of things. Over here on the left, my task, flagged items and task. This would be a combination of the items I flagged in mail plus any new tasks I created. If I just want to see the tasks I created, if I click here, these are the ones I created that are not mail messages. The one thing about task is I can quickly get back to mail, calendar, or people. So down here at the bottom, if I'm in my task, I need to go to a message in mail, I can click on it here and then it'll take me right back to my Outlook or Inbox. I can also get to Calendar and take a look at my calendar. I can get to my People or my Contacts, and then I can get back to my Tasks. So Task is part of the Office 365 environment that includes Mail, Calendar, People, and Tasks. Across the top, again, I have the Office 365 Launcher. And then over here on the right, I can see some icons to get into Skype, if I have any notifications, to change some options, and also to get help. And then account information about myself. When I click on a task, on the right, I'll see information about it in my reading pane. And then I'll also see up here different icons of things that I can do. So I can create a new one, I can edit this one, whatever I need. In the lessons to follow, I'll show you how to use tasks in Office 365. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson. In this lesson, let's take a look at creating tasks. To create a task, all I have to do is come up here and click New. Once I click New, it opens up a form over here on the right. First thing I do is type in my subject. I need to create a task to create instructor notes for Power BI. So I'm going to type that in. And then I'm going to come down here and pick a due date. This has to be done by Friday. And then down here in the body, I can type any notes. The one thing I want to remember that I add to this is I reference the pages in the book. So I'm going to put reference page numbers. So just a simple task here. And all I'm going to do then is click Save. When I click Save, it gets added to my task list in the order that it's due. Now, if I want to have more details about a task, I can. So I'm going to create another new one. So I'll click on New. And here in the subject, I need to create a Power BI QRC, or Quick Reference Card, for a company online systems. So I'm going to type my subject. I'm going to choose my due date. But then I'm going to choose Show More Details. When I click Show More Details, it gives me a lot of choices. 
I could pick a start date. I'm going to get started with that tomorrow. I can mark the date complete. I have status. Right now I'm not started, but you'll see the other status that are available. I could type in my percent complete. I can also change a priority. By default, everything is normal. I can mark it private. And if I mark something private, just by checking it, if I was to share my task and I don't let the other people see the items I mark as private, they would not be able to see what's in this task. I can have a reminder. And if I check reminder, you'll see it picks that date I have as the due date, but at 8 a.m. I can have a task repeat, and then down here, I can give the total work. So if I was allotted, let's say, 10 hours, I'll put in 10, and then later on, I can put the amount that I actually used. I have mileage, billing information, and then here in companies, this is for online systems, so I'll type that in. And then if I had any notes, I can add that down here. I'm just going to click Save, and again, add it to my task list. I'm going to create one more task, this time a recurring task. For the subject, I need to update the training schedule. I'm going to click Show More Details, and then here, I'm going to choose Other because I want to choose when I'd like to have this, which will be every Friday. So I'll click Other. It's a weekly pattern, and I want it weekly every Friday. I'll click Save, and then you'll see every Friday, June, in this case, to November. All right, that's all I need for this one, and then I'll click Save. And now you'll see that task has been added and notice a little recurring symbol. So we can create as many tasks as we need to get added to our task list of things we need to complete. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson. In this lesson, let's take a look at flagging messages to create tasks. I'm still in my task list, and I can see the tasks that I have created. So now I'd like to go to Mail and flag any messages that I need to do something to. So if I go back to Mail, and then I start taking a look at my messages, as I scroll through them, if there's something I need to do, and I don't have time to do it right now, like right here in this one, I've got to send out the invites for Harry's retirement. So that I don't forget to do this, I could flag it. You see right here, Flag? And if I just click on that, you'll see the flag turns red. It's now been added to my task list. If I know when I have to have it done by, I could right click on that flag and then choose a date. So I need to get this done this week. So if I choose this week, it adds a flag again, but now for this week. It looks like another message here that I have to get the notes for the sales meeting. So again, I'll flag that one, and this time I'll just right click and say I'll get to that tomorrow. And then here's another one. If somebody has a question about Excel, let me flag that one, and I'll get to that later today. So I flagged three messages that I have in mail of things that I need to do. Now when I go back to my task list and I take a look, and if I come here to where it says flagged items and tasks, you'll see now I have other things added to my list. So another way to get tasks on your task list is to go to mail and flag the messages and indicate when those items need to be done by. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. In this lesson, let's take a look at modifying tasks. I'm in my task list, and I'd like to make some changes to a few tasks. This one here, Create Instructor Notes. I had started this, and I also have a file that I'd like to attach to this. So to the right, I'm going to hit Edit. 
And then across the top, I'm going to click Attach. I'm going to go get my file, my computer. It's right here in the desktop. There it is. I'll click Open. Attach as a copy. And now you can see the little paper clip here indicating that I attached a file. So what I'd also like to do is to change the amount of actual work. I already spent two hours. Now I'm going to modify it and put four. I can also add other things like categories. And if I click on categories, these are available throughout Outlook. I might categorize this one as training. And then you'll see it puts that little category symbol there. Just another thing that I can do to help me indicate what type of task this is. We also have charms. And charms are just little indicators. So if this dealt with something with travel or animals or whatever, I can add a charm. I don't need a charm in this case. I'm just going to click on Save. And then you'll see again the little paper clip, as well as my category. And then my hours were updated. I'd like to go back to another task that I flagged in Mail. So over here on the left, I'm going to click on Flagged Items and Tasks. And I'm going to choose this one here, Meeting Notes. Somebody wanted to know if I had the notes from the sales meeting. I do. So I'm going to reply. And then I'm going to attach. Again, Computer. On my desktop. There's the notes. I'll click Open. It'll attach it. And then I'm going to send this. So I sent that response. So now I'm done with this task. So over here where it has the flag, if I right click that, I can mark complete. And then when I mark complete, notice it's gone from my list. So once you have tasks in your task list, either tasks you flagged in mail or tasks you created, you can modify them at any time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next lesson. In this lesson, let's take a look at sorting, filtering, and deleting tasks. Right now, I'm looking at my task list. By default, when I look at my task, I see the active task in order by the date they're due. Up here, where it says active, I have choices. Let's say I'd like to see my task by the subject. So if I come down here and I click on subject, take a look. Alphabetical listing now of my tasks. If I come back up to active, and let's say I change it to attachments, now you see the messages with attachments and all the little paper clips, and then without attachments. So when I click on Active and in the sorting area, I can choose a way I'd like to have my tasks sorted. I can also have filtering. If I was to choose Overdue under Filter, it'll only show me tasks that I have overdue. If I change it to Completed, it'll show me my completed task. And there's that meeting notes that I completed before. I can also see everything together. So by choosing All, I see all my tasks, anything that's overdue, and also those that are marked complete. So by choosing a filtering option, we can choose what tasks we'd like to see. The default, Active, and under Sorting, the default, Due Date. So that's how the task list will be unless you change it. I can also get rid of a task. This task right here, it says it's overdue, but I actually did take a look at those updates. Now I have a couple choices. If I choose Mark Complete, it'll mark this task complete. But if I don't even want it on my task list, I really didn't need to flag it, I can actually mark it Delete. Because this one's a mail message, it'll actually delete it out of my mailbox as well. So I'm going to click Delete, and again, It'll delete the email message. That's OK. I don't need it. I'm going to say yes. Notice that message is off my task list. 
and that email message has been deleted in my mailbox. So working with the task list, we can change the sorting order, we can filter our task, or we delete any task as needed. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this task series.